Hi, in this lesson you'll learn about the break statement. As you know, a while loop is a control structure that repeats commands as long as some condition is true. Let's take a look at a program that uses a while loop. As long as the variable lives has a value that is greater than zero, the command inside the loop will run. Once the player no longer has any lives and the value is set to zero, the loop will end and the game will be over. So when the lives goes to zero, the loop condition will become false. This will exit the loop and execute the next command, which is game over. Let's say we want to add a mechanic to our game so that when the player falls in the lava, the game is over regardless of how many lives the player has. We would need something other than this condition to exit the loop. So introducing the break statement. The break statement enables us to exit a loop early. We put the break statement inside of an if statement so that we can specify a condition that will end the loop. So let's go back to our example. We can put a break statement in our program so that if a player falls in the lava, we break out of our loop regardless of the number of lives left. Now there are two conditions that will end the loop early if the number of lives becomes zero, or if the player falls in lava. Let's walk through the loop. When lives is greater than zero, which is true, we go into the loop. So we play the level, then we fall into lava. This will turn the condition of the if statement to true, and so we go inside of our if statement and execute the break. Once we hit the break statement, we exit the loop. Now it's important to note that the program exits the loop immediately after hitting the break statement. Unlike the while loop, we don't continue to the end of the loop, we actually exit immediately. So let's take a look at another use case for the break statement. In this program, we repeatedly ask the user to enter a password until they enter a string that matches their password. But here we have repeated code, which is something we try to avoid. So we could restructure our while loop in a way that uses the break statement. Let's get rid of the first read line command. But now the condition of our loop won't work because attempt has not been initialized yet. We can solve this by having a true as the condition for our loop. This means that while the while loop will automatically run because the condition is true. If you're thinking, but wait, won't that cause an infinite loop? Well, you're right. This is dangerous. At this point, we have nothing in our while loop that will make the condition false. So let's add a break statement. We can say that if an attempt is equal to the password, break out of the loop. Now there's one last thing we need to adjust. Right now at the beginning of our loop, we're printing that the user has inputted the incorrect program or incorrect password before they have even tried. So let's move this command so that it is after the user inputs a value and the break statement. This way, if the user inputs a password, we'll break out of the loop before we can print out that they have entered an incorrect password. This structure is sometimes called a loop and a half because you can break out of a statement to exit the loop halfway through. Now that you know all about break statements, you can use them in your JavaScript programs. So let's go. Okay, so we're going to take a look at a while loop that is looping around and asking the user for an input number, and it keeps looping until that person enters a zero and exit out. So I run this now, and I enter four, five, and six. You can see it adds up, gives me a running total, and when I enter zero, it tells me what that total was. What we want to do is get rid of this line here that is repeating itself down lower. So I'm going to delete these two lines here. Now, num is not initialized, so I can't use that as a variable. So I'm going to switch this to true, and it creates an infinite loop that I need to break out of. And so when do I want to break out? Well, I want to break out when that condition would, would have been true, which is after the user enters a zero. So I'm going to put that statement down here. If num equals zero, then I'm going to break out. And so I put my break command. So now this will work where the user is going to enter 
that number in, and if they enter zero, we break out of our loop. Now the problem though is that right now it's saying sum equals sum plus num, and we don't have that here, and saying the current sum is that. So what we have to do is actually move these down to after this input here, okay? And so we move that down later, we're now gonna read in our input. If it's a zero, we break out and we don't even hit these two lines. Otherwise, we're gonna take that number and add it to the sum, print our running total, and then when we break out, we'll print our final total there. So let's go ahead and run this. Oops, looks like I have an error here. I forgot to initialize this num since we didn't initialize it earlier. So let me go ahead and run this again. Okay, so now again, I enter four, five, six, and zero. I see the same exact thing. Um, so again, this code here with the break statement allows me to not repeat a line of code, and so it gives me this loop and a half, um, which is a nice, efficient way to, to look at this problem.